Well, hello everybody, and welcome back here to Goetia, and welcome back to the ghost of Abigail Blackwood. Hello everybody, hello. Now, you're not going to see it, but I've spent about ten minutes on this puzzle, trying more and more elaborate solutions, and then it occurred to me, if things are getting too complex, you've missed something very simple. I've tried dropping it in front of this, I've tried waving it in front of this, never tried using it on. The thick book should keep the hair from coming in, not the most noble destiny for a book, but what must be done, must be done. You're absolutely right Abigail, which that should mean we should be able to get down here. Now, actually, let's test something. I can't feel it, but it looks like there's a gentle breeze coming through this vent. Right, I think that's a different message. And now, hopefully... Oh, yes. The barrier disappeared. I did it. Well done, Abigail. Let's go and get our reward, shall we? Okay. I would never have imagined that one would entomb the dead so deep underground, unless there were some kind of threats. Red class, cut clean by this monolith. What kind of world awaits on the other side of this horrible door? Hmm, that's a good question. Okay, we can't... <clears throat> yeah, it looks like... Yes. This is as far as we go here. Here we go. If Boone has been banished from this place, this sigil should be vital for my research. I must memorize it. And there we go, we now have another piece of the manor revealed. Boone's opposite sigil has been filled. Every room once blocked by his presence is now accessible. So let's just check. It's still saying we haven't finished this. Hmm. Now we've done the main quest. Okay, but we haven't done this one here, the excavation site. So we're going to have to come back and deal with the draw, but I think for now we, we're we not strong enough, it says. If only, if only I was stronger. So we can leave that one be. But for now, I think, what we will do is let's have a look at the area that's been opened up, shall we? Right, so we're back up here. Uh, okay, so that's where we got the screwdriver out. Is there anything new here? No, this is where we couldn't go beforehand. A new area altogether. Okay. 31, 12, 16. That looks like a date. It's funny that I can't look at it, I can just interact with it. So... Annie took over our parents' bedroom. It doesn't seem right to me, but for her, a long time has passed. Indeed. This piece of clothing is so big, it must belong to a stranger, someone much taller and older than anyone in my memories. Possibly. Or it could just be that Annie's grown up. Okay, so we can't go down there. We can go down there though. Alright, so what have we got here? Fireflies trapped in a jar. Both soothing and sad. But they can't survive very long without care. Someone must live here. Annie, where are you? Annie's been working on her research. Almost everywhere, even in her bedroom. Okay, so let's 
So let's read her research, shall we? Oh, I can possess her research as well. Interesting. I finished setting up the projector in the library, and it works perfectly. The device is both entertaining and decorative. I even plan at some point to electrify it. For the time being, the children still enjoy it, and s setting it in motion is always a happy moment. Annie, your sons are truly remarkable. Nevertheless, I have noticed a certain laxity in their lessons and their recent progress. You're so enthralled in your research that you might not have the time for them. Don't in misunderstand. I have no intention of criticizing you. I am merely offering my help to supervise their education, if doing so would put your mind at ease. Would you like me to take the boys to town one of these days? Going out and seeing the world would do them good. This is Anton, I think, was Annie's husband. Habanan is the sixth demon I have met so far, and one of the most terrifying, not because he's violent, for he's kind of hardly bellicose, which probably explains why Boone has yet to give vent to his anger while in his presence. Each of the beings is... something what I've read about them, but Habanem Habanem is the most enigmatic and com communicating with him is a challenge. I start a sentence and gradually shape it in my mind as I utter it while Habanem seems to create his in advance and distill it piece by piece in a carefully random order. Pauses and silences punctuate a rather disjointed conversation which makes his presence all the more distressing than others. Uh, than other more vindictive characters. I don't know what his intentions are. They are as mysterious as his speech. Truly a perfect compliment for Alexander. They will have so much to share. 28th of January. It is done. It wasn't easy. Alexander may have, oppo may have been opposed to me, but he's still my son, and the ritual is a perfect ordeal for him, who resisted so much, and for me, who saw his soul leave his body, but the instrument I chose for him suits him perfectly. The... He... Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that word is. He treasured, treasured it. He treasured it. I know it. I should stop thinking. The point is too strong. Doubt would itself uh, worms itself in too often. Madness is just around the corner, and I have work to do. Must not fail. I sometimes feel that we've lost the ability to read handwriting. I know I certainly have. And this game has highlighted that to an incredible degree. I didn't know about this room. I always thought this door went into a wardrobe. A veritable exhibition of curiosities. I always wanted something like this. Okay, there's lots of stuff here. We are blocked going up. Impossible. Oh, hello. Strange, I agree. Oh, good lord. Oh, forgive me. I never had the opportunity to talk to three people at the same time. Especially when they're hanging on a wall. Oh, well, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? One. Aim or Haberin, but only one. Will you help? Help you? 
Well, I suppose I could help you the same way I helped the other demons I've met here. Big favor, yes. The shape constraining. Find my sigil. The locket incomplete. The other parts of the sigil are near. But I don't know anything about Haberton. Why should I help you? Annie knows. Annie knew. Annie knew. Why the past tense? What happened? Answer me. The shape is important. Look for the shapes. The first on the first step to knowledge. Where studies find the light. The statues find refuge. I would have preferred a map. I'll do my best to help you. But first, tell me where Annie is. I beg you. Come back, tell me. Annie, I thought I would find her here. But once again, I still haven't found any answers. Okay. So... The final floors of the manor. Mother and father's bedroom. Bune didn't leave a trace here. It seems Annie took over this bedroom once she grew up. I'm not sure I would have dared to myself. Hopefully I can find her here. Another demon. He doesn't seem dangerous, but he might be the most curious, curious character I've met so far. And he speaks in riddles. He only guards the entrance to the attic. But I wouldn't be surprised if Annie has hidden something important there. Okay. Let's check this one. The observatory. Yes, we know we haven't finished that one yet. Okay. Hmm. A, a new unknown sigil? It's incomplete too. This research is getting absurd. Volumes of botanical encyclopedia. Okay, right, now that's interesting. I think I've seen the rest of that. This coral should be better protected. A statuette with an, an empty gaze. It's almost reassuring when you see what passes for normal in the manor. Rare and forever extinct. The colours of these butterflies are simply captivating. A stuffed green woodpecker. At least the wood panelling is no longer at risk. This egg is huge. It seems like it's hatched already a long time ago, hopefully. This feather seems to be only here for decoration. It seems a little museum wasn't it? this little museum wasn't intended for study. That's what we've got here. We've got a lot here. And for correct, this is where bad. Not yeah, yeah. You can do that one yourself. Local art, culture, and history. These shotguns are more recent, but I'm not an expert. I'd certainly hope not at your age. A musket and halberd. These weapons would be perfect for historical reenactment. This Celestine geode is massive. Minerals, amethysts, of course, but also quartz, mica, sulfur, and iron pyrite. Oh, and even a garnet. The taxidermist botched up the eyes of this fox, giving it a very disturbing look. This tapestry is dusty, or just very old. I can see a medieval hunt scene. Corals. They're intact and still look marvellous. This room is really is amazing. Right, let's go back here. Now we could possess this. And... I wonder... Yes, there we go. 
We have another puzzle. So let's go and see what we can do with this, shall we? Right, I've had a little play with that and not getting anywhere just yet. I think we need more information. Just check through this again. No, no obvious sigils here, but the pieces have gone. So we've advanced that. Um, let's try down here, see if we get more information. What do we have here? Someone stopped their study of these books, but this research looks recent. They're all about occultism, prophecies, and symbols. Oh, and magic. Having a raindrop as a decoration is a bit of a debatable choice, in my humble opinion. I like the raven better. Okay, so we still got what's down here. Archives and history books. The Blackwood history is scattered across this storeroom. I remember that there used to be more newspapers kept in this trunk. Okay, we can't get out that way. But we can go through here. And this looks like a schoolroom. Drafts, copies? It looks like they took the children's education very seriously. This seat is... well, it used to be mine. There's any seat. Mrs. Ward would never have forgiven these ink stains. These wall lamps have a very peculiar shape and they seem rather out of place. I'm inclined to agree, actually. We can't do anything with them just yet, though. These notes are father's lesson preparations. Did Annie use them on her son's education? And we're back here. I still don't know what to do with that. Okay, so we are lacking a demon symbol. And we're just going to have to find it, I think. Let's just have another run through. How are we doing for time? We are pretty much out of time. So I think we will probably leave it there. Until the next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Goetia. Thank you, and good night.